guys, it's Mousy, and welcome to a kind of new series. <laughs> uh, some of you may recognize this world from my live streams. Ooh, look at that! Look at that cow with that hat there. Oh, oh my. Okay, that's interesting. But yes, we are playing Crazy Craft. Um, I usually, well, I I actually liked keeping this as a live streaming series, but there were so many of you requesting uh, to make this a series on my channel as well, so I decided we're gonna do both. Uh, so I'll give you guys a, a bit of a catch up as what we've done so far on the live stream that when when we started this world, uh, we basically we spawned in next to this lovely pink tree and we decided to make it our home as you guys know I love 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 having tree houses and as you can tell we already have some diamond stuff and the reason for that is because of that magical place right there um, it is a world like when you get on it the gravity is all funny but we actually took the gravity thing from it and uh, we actually have it and we can maybe make our own miniature world? I don't know. We can certainly try. Uh, but so yeah, let me give you guys the grand tour. Of course, let me get my berries, as you guys know. I love the berries. So yeah, this is the pink tree. There are actually two, and I plan on planting more to kind of expand the house. This is currently our, uh, our roof. As you can see, it has that uh, open uh, ceiling rustic feel. Uh, you can really feel the breeze when it comes through. Oh, and especially the rain. Uh, I like to call it, you know, a natural shower. It's, it starts raining. You feel like you need to get a bath. You just you just walk on right out here, and uh, it, it's it's got that old that rustic feel. If you catch my meaning. And uh, this is our bed where we sleep. You know, th this is like Minecraft cribs, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to Minecraft cribs with Mousy um, on Crazy Craft. Uh, this is the ovens, the crafting table. I, mean, I don't know why I'm really so detailed about this. I love it. This is pretty much everything we have so far. We've done some mining. We've made a grapple hook thing in the jigger because uh, we got some special black iron ore. In fact, I think uh, we might have everything we need to actually make that. We could probably do that in our very first episode. Uh, I'm actually quite excited. Let's see, hold on. Uh, black iron ore. Or just black iron. Derp to derp to derp. Let's see, where, where art thou? Where is it in this magical, uh, I, I can't even find it. What's it called? Oh, okay. Black iron there we go mm-hmm yes indeed okay so yeah here we go we're trying to make the batman's grappling hook so we can like fly off into oblivion and be batman one with the night you know and look over the world with y the ears and stuff you know you know what i'm saying we need string uh, we have one string in fact if our cotton plants grow down in our garden which i'll show you here shortly uh, we can probably make this, this episode. Oh, this, this is gonna be magical, ladies and gentlemen. Although, I think from past experience with our previous Hexit series, we know that that, <laughs> that cotton is going to take quite a long time to make. Although, I do see some sheep in the area, and we do have some iron. Uh, we could probably shear some, wait, can we make cotton in the string, though? Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. We must find out if we can do this. String. How can I make... <gasps> Whoa, oh, that's silk. Hold on. Is there a way to make silk? Okay. Is there... Other than... Oh, whoa, what is this? Magician's blood orb. I want to be a magician. Teach me these ways. I must know. Well, that, that didn't do much. Okay. Well, now we know something, uh, and it's that we need to get cobwebs. Yeah? Yeah? Alright. 
let's go ahead and use this, uh, our fancy bed and, you know, our fancy, fancy, you know, cribs. <laughs> Next up on our, uh, our tour of, you know, Mousy's, uh, house and, uh, you know, Minecraft cribs. Here we go. Uh, this is how we get up to the tree. It's just a ladder, you know, totally professional. And uh, this is currently our garden where we are growing what I think is strawberries. Uh, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's wheat and I'm sure that's cotton. And we got some butterflies around here, which I quite like. They're kind of chill, you know. They hang out with me because they, they know I'm cool, you know, at least trying to be cool. Not always cool, but we can all be cool together. We can try. Or we can be totally not cool and the butterflies just hang out with me because I'm awesome, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, there's the, uh, the outside view of cribs, you know, totally chill. Excuse you, butterfly. You're up in my grill here. I'm, I'm in the middle of something. Okay. All right. So since we've done quite a bit already on <laughs> the this thing in Bob, um, I just want to show you guys around real quick. I actually want to go back to the planet and show you guys the inside of that. Uh, unfortunately, since I've already taken the gravity core, you guys. Uh, oh, sea viper. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. sir, this is going to be a showdown. How much life do you have? Can we take you on with diamond swords? Is this possible? Okay. 160? I think we can do that. All right. For those of you who haven't already seen the diamond fists of... Oh, there's two. Awkward. Okay. Diamond fists of fury! Double-handed swords! That's right, we got some diamonds from that lovely thing right there. Look at how cool this is. Oh my goodness. I'm like totally vicious. Gonna take on the world. Hey, bro. Hey, come at me. Come at me. Oh, we didn't do much. We didn't do much. Oh my gosh, he killed me! Ah! Okay, you didn't see that. I'm still cool, right? That's not an actual creeper. I actually freaked out there for a moment. But, uh, uh next up on uh, Minecraft Cribs, <laughs> Massey regains all of her stuff, hopefully. Okay, Sea Viper, don't kill me, please. I just want my stuff back. And my Diamond Fists of Fury, because... I just want my stuff! No! Oh, goodness. Well, hmm. How are we going to manage this? Alright. Okay. We can do this. For victory. We just run in. Run out. Oh, it's despawned. Oh, goodness. Thank goodness. Ladies and gentlemen. We're all good. Oh, it just turned into a cow. No worries, guys. The viper just turned into a cow. It's cool. It's cool. No worries. We're all good. We're all good here. I'm just gonna just gonna leave, you know, go back. And uh, go back to checking out my awesome house, you know. <laughs> Regain some of my coolness. Uh, so clearly we need to work on getting some, you know, weapons. <laughs> All right, let's let's get our armor back on. Where's our chest plate? <gasps> oh no! He's taken our chest plate. This is not acceptable. Sea Viper, we are not on friendly terms. You know, at one point, maybe we could have been friends. You know, you're somewhat related to a dragon, and I'd be totally down with chilling with you because you're, you know, somewhat related to dragons. But you know what? I'm not cool. I am not cool with losing my stuff and losing my chest plate, which is still lost, as I can see here clearly right now. Still a big no. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a detective mystery um, called Where is Mousy's Chestplate? And is it really gone forever? Because I really like that chest plate. Me and that chest plate, we had something going, you know? We were we were on good terms. It was it was special to me. It was a uh, made by my grandmother. <laughs> Not really, but you know. Is there Oh, there is some of my stuff down here. Nothing attack me. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going down into the depths of the water. Hey, how everything just goes everywhere. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? This cow is looking awfully suspicious. Let it be known, cow, if you turn into something, I will. I will bring out the Diamond Fist of Fury. And I happen to know for a fact, it will do more than... <laughs> it will actually kill you, unlike the, the Viper situation we have going on right now. Hello? Wouldn't it be cool if we could be a fish? I wonder if we can find a fish. Oh gosh! Need to breathe, need to breathe, need to breathe. Alright, I think our chest plate has been lost to the sea. Or the sea viper was just a meanie and stole it, you know. That's not cool. Well, I hope that that sea viper now feels extra fabulous with my, you know, chest plate. It's cool, it's cool. Making the, making the sea more beautiful, one death at a time. And, you know, <laughs> a few pieces of armor. That's all it takes. Okay, well, hmm, hmm. What were we doing originally before we that happened? I can't even remember now. Although there are berries, and berries are nice. So, wait, didn't I have more berries? No, I ate them. Okay, yeah, we're good, we're good. <laughs> we have plenty more diamonds, and we can actually go get more materials from our lovely planet over there. I'm actually quite curious to see what making our own planet would do. I feel like it would be oh so magical. So magical. We should also probably, you know, build and do things. What kind of weapons are there? This will be interesting. Okay. Sword. Nope, that's not how you spell sword. Can I please English? <laughs> Royal Guardian Sword. How do I make you? You sound magical and I happen to know you're like the best ever. Let's see, look at all of these. They're like plus eight attack. Yeah. There's Deadpool's sword. Could try and make that. It only does 29 damage. But the one we want. Bada bing! How do I make y you are not makeable? Oh, do you drop from something that I don't know? Because I haven't looked it up on a Wikipedia or anything. But I will once I finish this episode, because I definitely want that sword. Oh, we could conquer the world. What do we have on our map right now? We have this world, and there's another, there's like a, a sponge cheese world, and then there's this thing right here that's like spawning hydras in these castles in a pirate ship. And this is where we are right now, ladies and gentlemen. We will conquer this domain. And they will look up to this bright pink fluorescent half done rustic tree house and they will say that is where mousy is fear fear the mouse because the double fist of fury is coming for you so fierce so fierce <laughs> oh gosh i can't even keep a straight face <laughs> right now <laughs> i am not fierce <laughs> <laughs> I get distracted by cute things way too easily sometimes. Um, which is probably what will lead me to my death more than a few times in this game. Which is why I haven't done anything with all these diamonds, because I have a feeling we will probably end up needing to remake materials over and over again. And I keep wanting to go up here because it's just part of me. I want to be all the way up here and I just like looking over everything. Okay, so, plan of attack. Um, oh, there's that cheese world. Look at that. 
There's all these cute hot air balloons around. I just love it. I feel like I'm like in the middle of a carnival and there's like people going on little adventures all around me. Is there anything in, ooh, there's a house up there. Ooh, curiosity's getting the best of me. I have no food, this is not smart. Hold on, let's get smart here. I have apples, but I wanna save them for like golden apples, you know, to make it special. Here, I shall take some of this wheat and make me some yummy bread. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and plant all of these um, bushes. They'll make more, it's not a problem. Food. Nourishment. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Also, you guys should also know, my arch nemesis in this game, like in this mod pack, are those terrible, terrible, absolutely terrible uh, red ants. I hate them, I can't stand them, they're so tiny, and you can't really attack them all that well, and, ugh, and they're bright red, and they're mean. I don't like them. But we haven't seen any for a while, so I think I think we've got the nest in the area. In the live stream, we found one right over there, and we destroyed it and threw it right into the ocean, like a boss. You know how I am. Ooh, is that like an underwater ruins? That looks pretty. I hope that balloon isn't in trouble. I know we haven't actually like, really gone anywhere. I know this is just like an introduction uh, episode as to uh, <laughs> what we've done in the uh, live stream where we started this uh, world. But I'm quite excited to uh, be both live streaming and making episodes on it. Uh, most of the building and stuff I'll be doing during live streams and maybe some spontaneous adventures. Um, but definitely for the episodes, I'll plan some uh, cool stuff for the future episodes. Like going and checking out that house next episode or checking out the pirate ship around the corner. Maybe we can actually beat those guys. Because uh, clearly the, uh, the Oro spawn uh, creatures are a little bit too tough for us. Um, they're kind of taking our, our cool factor away, you know? Like, cool, like sly, you know. You know how we do. And there's Battle Tower right there. You could probably get some cool stuff from there. It'll be lot, lots of cool. Lo <laughs> I'm not making any sense anymore, guys. I've ceased to make sense. But hopefully we can uh, get this tree house uh, underway. We can have like a proper uh, fort and stuff by the next episode. I'm really excited. I like this uh, mod pack quite a lot and you guys have requested it so much. So I'm really excited to be playing it. I hope you guys uh, join, in <laughs> join us for live streams when we do live stream this. It's a lot of fun and I can't wait to be making episodes on it. I love you guys. Have a fantastic Wednesday. Stay wonderful and I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> and this concludes our episode of Minecraft Cribs with Mousy. <laughs>